Welcome back to my journey with Paula G, where we juggle this journey called life while walking in the gifts and talents that God has given us. And before the break, we were having a conversation with Mr. Torian Black. He was sharing with us his journey of being an adoptive parent at a time where it was unheard of. Single, black man, and what was the third one? Single, black, and what's the other one? It was, the third, it was three of them. It was three of them, right. Three, three strikes that black. were against him at the yeah, time. Right. Same, yeah. And just an amazing journey of raising 13 mm -hmm. children. And before the break, we were talking a bit about, you know, raising children, being a mentor, mm -hmm. and how he has been a mentor to Michael Mario Good. And we were talking a bit about that connection. And I'll let him uh, finish sharing with us that connection that you have with Michael, how you all okay. met through uh, True Colors. Kenny Leo, share with us. Yeah. It was 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, we were doing the, the inauguration piece for Two Colors, and it was uh, Vincent. Yes. It was Vincent. Yes, yes, sir. And that's when I met Michael. And Michael sort of became one of our, uh, what do you call, assistants. Who go to who comes to tell you 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh -huh. He was a pain in the butt. Barking but, over. Yeah, but he still is. <laughs> All right. well, we love him. 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 That's how we met. Yes. And over the years, my and I became tight, you know, and uh, I tried to share everything that I, I could mm -hmm. with him. I was like a mentor to him. Yeah. And uh, as God had it, we wound up working together in mm -hmm. uh, the, the production that we did. It was called Sins of the Father. Sins of the Father. I was his grandfather uh -huh. at the time. And Nick Starr was his father. Yes, yeah, so we, we mentioned yeah, Nick earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we mentioned So we performed it at the Art, National Arts Festival of Black Hair. And then uh, what's the Salem, North Carolina at the National uh, Theater Festival. Mm -hmm. But Mike has been a really true friend, a good friend. I'm so happy for all his success that he deserves it too because he works hard. He works, hard. He works very hard yeah. and uh, to see it, this thing flourish like it has because of Michael and the good acting theater. Yeah. I mean because there were only two play pe people that had the training besides Michael is the uh, young voices with Nick and yes, Nick Star and, and the princess right. Now, now speaking of training, there there is um, an approach mission statement that Michael has. And I want to share this with you because it's relative to the conversation. Mm -hmm. Good Acting Studio embraces the beginner, mm -hmm. the advanced, and mm -hmm. professional actor mm -hmm. in a way that stimulates the imagination and creativity which lies beneath the soul mm -hmm. of every human being. Mm -hmm. Training for the total actor. Talk to us about the soul. Of, of, of an actor, and again, the connection with Michael and and what you saw in him as well. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I saw a, a drive that he had mm -hmm. uh, to be successful like he is, yeah. the, to step outside of the box of being just an actor, mm -hmm. of being an instructor, yeah. an actor, and he did that, he did that on his own, mm -hmm. so I'm really proud of him. Uh, we thought maybe he was going to continue acting, you know, just acting, not to be the CEO, CEO, the one with the boss, yeah, you know. Yeah. But he's done a wonderful, amazing job, you know. He, like I said, he came in the, in the, the next episode of uh, Young Voices, yes. you know, Young Voices, yeah. and, uh, which Nick has done a hell of a job with mm. that. I mean, look at his. People, yes, you know. yes, because even, you know, and that's why I was saying at the top of the show, this is such an emotional show because mm -hmm. it, it speaks to family, mm -hmm. it speaks to mentoring, right. the mentoring of a generation of talented, you know, yes. um, actors Old such as you said. Yes, right? yes, yeah. and then pouring into the next yeah, generation yeah. And, and that of, um, you know, Michael Mario yeah. Good. Um, Elevate Productions with right. um, <laughs> Josh yes. and Roland in yes. India yeah, that yeah. pouring into that next generation and that's what it's all about you all mm -hmm. you know we're talking about this juggling this journey called life we are indeed using the gifts and talents yeah. that God has given us but we're also pouring into the next generation right. and 
it's like you've spent a lifetime doing that between your own children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you know your 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 other children such as Ma such, yeah. such as Michael, Michael. And, and others that right. you poured into so it's uh it's been wonderful i mean <coughs> excuse me look what we have here this generation yeah the star kids <laughs> the star kids <laughs> princess and nick Star yeah. and their kids. Yeah, star with two R's. I always yes. say star with two R's. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, as 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 an actor in the seventies, mm. being a pioneer, mm. can you take us back just a little bit and share with us some of the challenges that you had during that time? Getting a job. That was the <laughs> number one challenge. Mm -hmm. But during that time, during the seventies, that was the ex exploitation films. Yeah, that's yes. what they were called in the house. Yeah. <clears throat> but I was fortunate enough to be in Hollywood with my son, my youngest, older son. Mm -hmm. He was there for a screen test, and I went with him. As a matter of fact, he had his screen test. I had my screen test, and uh, the, the producer called me up and asked me, "Would I want to work on the Red Fox show?" Oh, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who would? That was bless the first his heart. one. That was the <laughs> That was his bliss art. So that yeah. started it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the show started rolling in one after the next, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and speaking yeah. of Red Fox, we have a, 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 a photo oh here. Now, God. some of y'all, I don't know, some of y'all oh may. Oh my gosh. <laughs> may that's remember a, this, but over this. 50 years ago. Yes, but this goes way back. Yeah. This was a time, you know, now we, we, we you know, we turn See. on the television, we turn on the radio, and, you know, we. I was young and good looking. And you were. <laughs> He's still good for you. <laughs> you have truly been blessed. You have truly, you have truly been blessed. You know, as as you know, a, a spiritually driven man, and you have to be a spiritually driven man to be able to pour into the lives of so many young people. What can you share with our audience? On that, on that, that, that <coughs> excuse me. I was living up in Baldwin Hills in California, very exclusive part of the city. And I had this big house because of the success of the show. Oh. That's a big house. I said, nobody's here. My two kids are grown on their own. I said, God, why have you blessed me like this? Oh. And I looked up. They said, children. Oh. Children. That's what this house is for, children. children. Fill it with children. Bless you with a big house big. to fill. With children. The quiver, quiver. Fill your quiver with the arrow. Come mm. on now. Yes, he did. So that's that's the message I got. Mm -hmm. So that's I'll get the ball on the road. And that's that. Like I said, that is indeed has been a journey, and it's so, it's so. I think it's just so encouraging, and it's just wonderful to right. to be able to sit at the feet of wisdom. You know, we our time always goes so quickly when mm. we're having these conversations. We only have mm. a couple minutes left. Yeah. Can you share with the audience some words of wisdom that, that you want them to walk away with? Well, <clears throat> we have to take care of one another, especially our children. Our children need us, you know. Don't be afraid to adopt. Uh, me, I didn't want to be a celebrity going around telling people what to do if I hadn't done it myself. Oh, come on. Yeah, I had to do it myself. Oh. So I can tell you from my heart, yes. you can do it. <laughs> it's really, and these children, they need us. Yeah. They need us. Yeah. And we need them. Yeah. We need each other. Yes. You know, we need, we need yes. each other. You know, what, what, what it is that we have done and what mm -hmm. we have been through. To pass oh, on. And yeah, like passing on to them. And they, in turn, you know, they take the mm -hmm. torch. They carry yeah. the baton. And they you know, yeah. move on and do the great and wonderful things. And, yes. you know, I hope that each... I know, not mm -hmm. that I hope, mm -hmm. I know that each and every one of you have been blessed. There you yes. go. <laughs> have been blessed by this conversation with this gentleman, Mr. Mm -hmm. Torian Black. And you know, if you you we all have a heart and we mm -hmm. have a heart and we need to use that to, mm -hmm. to serve others, to give back to others, mm -hmm. to pour into others. Yes. And as we talk about this journey in life. That is the thing that we need to do, is to pour into others. Yes. 
I pray that you all have been blessed. I yes. know you all have been blessed. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you to the Good Acting Studio, Michael Mario Good, India, Roland. Josh, thank you so much. Elevate Productions, Nick and okay. Princess Star, Young Voices mm -hmm. United. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the greatest conversation you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. What are you speaking to yourself? Mm -hmm. Is God a part of that conversation? Mm -hmm. And are you listening to his still, small voice? Mm -hmm. Until next time, embrace the journey. <laughs>